welcome back guys in the previous lecture we have completed the admin panel final topics so now in this lecture we are going to design our last screen which is called as the landing screen so here we can see in the home page that means in the local host 3000 so you have to show this uh, uh, landing screen so at the top it is now bar only and at the top left you are having the title and at the top right you are having the user details so profile and logout and in between the screen you have to show these uh, title share rooms with the big text and here we, we have one quotation there is only one boss the guest and we have one get started button here you can see at the only right side we have we are having the border and if you click on the get started button it will be navigated to the uh, home screen so this is the landing screen and in this like landing screen we are also having the beautiful aos animation so you can able to observe here so the page is reloading uh, let it reload okay yeah here you can see share rooms the animation if i refresh also you can able to see it so this animation we are going to apply so first of all let me create one screen so this is our developing application screens landing screen dot js here rfce come on come on snippet yeah so in this landing screen we need only two h1 text and one button so first of all i will create the class name is equal to row and i will apply the one more class name landing so here i am going to apply dot call md uh, 12 so i am going to take the complete width and in this first i am going to apply one h2 text h2 so in this h2 i am going to apply title is equal to share rooms and bottom of that h2 i am going to apply one h1 uh, here i am going to apply the uh, quotation so the quotation is there is only one boss the guest and then i am going to apply one button in this button get started so actually it is not a button it is link so in that link you have to paste the button yeah 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 link yeah so link 2 is equal to 2 equal to home control s now let's see so in the app.js i am going to write it so uh, route path equal to landing screen and uh, exact component is equal to landing screen landing screen control s landing screen is not defined landing screen is not defined L A N D A already we have defined at the top why it is not showing one more time i will landing screen control s where is landing screen here everything is perfect why it is not showing link okay okay link is not defined so here i will import the link yeah now it is imported from the react router dom now let's see so remove this home from the url yeah so now we got the title and we got this text and we got the button so if you click on this get started button it will take us to the home page so now i am going to apply the class name for this button as class name is equal to btn btn primary so here you can see it has given a uh, black color so let's see so actually we should uh, apply the color as white and the text color as uh, black so first of all let me apply the background color so close everything so keep only uh, landing screen or and index.css 
so in the index dot css at the bottom i am going to write dot landing so for the dot landing i am going to apply background color as black black important and i am going to apply the width is equal to not width height is equal to 100 vh so height is also applied successfully so i think 100 100 is somewhat high uh, let's write 100 minus uh, 20 px uh, it's not working 100 vh minus 20 vh it is also not working so let's keep it uh, 100 vh only later we can adjust that so now i am going to change the color of the h1 text so i am going to apply the inline styling so this is the h2 style equal to so first i am going to apply the color property color is equal to white so it is changed to white color and here also style uh color is equal to white yeah it is changed so i am going to apply the text center here everything will be at center so now everything is at center so for the share rooms title i am going to change the font size font size so first i will give 150 px and let's see how it's going to look uh it's not getting updated refresh i don't know why it's not getting updated color white uh, font size uh, 150 px let's see in the index.css if we have any styling for the h2 so here you can see for the h2 we have given the font size as 30 pixels so that's the reason it is not getting overrided so remove this important tag so if you put important you cannot override so here you can see now it's increased so i think 150 is too high uh, let's decrease it uh, 130 yeah it's looking better i think the font weight is also bold in the index.css so yeah font weight is equal to bold so here also remove the important tag and yeah now it's looking good and please uh, apply the margin top as a 100 px for the landing screen so it's not margin top it's padding top because if you apply margin you will get the white color at the top yeah i think uh, you can apply some more 30 so it will be at center yeah so now it's looking good and here if you want to apply the black uh, black background color and uh, white text color you can or if you want to apply white background color or black text you can so now i am going to apply uh only btn style uh color white sorry color black i think so color black background color white color black background color white so background color is not getting applied let's uh, uh i think we have given the important tag for the btn primary at the top here you can see for the btn we have given the background color as black so remove the important tag so now it's applied but keep it here only because it may affect the other buttons so i am going to write one more class name for this button uh, landing button landing btn landing btn 
so i am going to apply the classes here dot landing btn background color white white important let's see so color also i am going to apply color is equal to black important yeah now it's looking good so if you click on this get started button it will be navigated to the uh, home screen so i am going to apply some margin m top not motion it's margin top margin top uh 20px yeah now it's looking good and here at the right side i am going to apply margin uh so this is the landing div so inside the dot landing we have dot call md 12 so for this call md 12 i am going to apply the uh, that uh, border left or not border left border right border right border right 5px solid white yeah important now let's see uh, refresh why it is not applied let's apply the inline styling so here for the dot column d 12 style uh, border right border right i am going to apply 5px solid white let's see again it is not applying i don't know why so here the problem is we are applying the border left for call md 12 so call md 12 will take complete width so that's the reason it is uh, not showing the uh, we are not able to see that border so let's decrease it to call md 8 or call md 9 so you can able to see it clearly call md 9 yeah so here you can see now you can able to see it clearly so here at the top i am going to apply justify content center for the div row justify content center yeah now it's good so instead of applying the margin top for the uh, landing screen so not margin top padding top for the landing div you can apply the uh, my auto for this column d9 so it will be adjusted at the center my auto margin y auto my auto y a u t o yeah now let's see awesome it's looking good and i will increase some width of the border uh, instead of 5px i will increase it to 8px yeah now it's looking much better so if i click on the get started it will takes us to the home screen so by this we have completed the uh, landing screen also in the next lecture we are going to discuss about the aos animations thank you